Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I'm going to share just a little bit of um, some grapes with you today. Earlier today, a lot of people were stopping across the road and they were um, either picking some grapes or taking pictures of grapes. But there was a group of motorcyclists that stopped and then one was burning his tire or something. I don't know, crazy stuff going on out there. And then another, a truck stopped shortly after and got some grapes. And I thought, you know, maybe I should go across the street with a camera and show you the grapes. This vineyard has struggled. They, they let it go for a long time with not taking care of it. Then somebody else bought the farm and they are taking care of it. But the grape bunches are so small which is surprising. Well, not surprising because it was a struggling vineyard they and they still don't look real good and they still don't take real good care of it. But the um, I will show you the vineyard and I will put that little clip in right here. Everybody's been stopping across the street, checking out the grapes. So I guess we'll take a walk over there too. There were six motorcyclists that stopped to get some grapes and then there was a truck that stopped to take pictures of the grapes. These are pretty small bunches. My goodness, they're not very big. Let's see if we see anything over here. Oh, here's some over here. These are, these are Concord grapes. They're pretty, ooh. And what we used to do is we used to, I used to, those fell off, I'll pop them out. You pop them, pop them out of the skin, eat the berry part. Don't chew, there's seeds in it. Pop this one. Hmm. And you're in the vineyard. There's not very much in here. This is a pretty poor, pretty poor vineyard. My goodness. And here's some grapes. Very poor. Okay, now you're watching, you've watched the clip. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, I had just watched the live stream of Bob. He, um, the Mountain Crest farmer, just did his live stream. He does it every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And I just watched that. And then in a little while, Prep Stutter Bob will be um, doing his live. But his is 8 o'clock Central which means if you're Eastern Standard Time, it's nine o'clock. I might get to see a little bit of it because I go to bed pretty early and that's cutting into my bedtime. So I'm gonna to try to watch just a little bit of it and then if I have to, I can always watch tomorrow after I get back from the gym because I'm going to be going. I went um, Friday, yeah, I went Friday. And he, he had me work on the, the um, ball, which is the one you sit on. And he had me sit on it. And he said, would you be surprised? A lot of people cannot even sit on a ball. They get real, real scared that they're going to fall. Well, I had to sit on the ball and do some um, pelvic tips and wiggles and just exercise like that. And then I had to roll by walking my feet and roll my back on it and then roll back up. And to me, that was a little scary because I'm afraid of falling over and getting sick and dizzy doing that. So he had me put my hands, put your hands up behind and walk your feet out. And then when you're coming back up, you put your hands out straight and bring yourself back up. So I did that. Then he had me work on the, um, it was like doing squats, but you're pushing against a weight and the weight had 50 pounds on it which is like half my weight right now he's starting me starting me at 50 pounds and then I'll work my way up a little bit and that's to build your leg muscles and he wants me to go three times a week at least 
which <laughs> I will do the three times a week, but I don't want to go every day. He really wants you to go every day, but I'm not going to. And my sister said it's very strange that I've still got the trainer with me because a lot of times they don't work with you this long. Well, apparently he is working with me a lot longer and really showing me how to use the different um, equipment that we have and I'm getting a better. She says, go as long as he's willing to do it, just go. And so she's one that likes to exercise, but I'm not one that is big on it. But I guess I'm going to be after a while. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to say? I don't remember. Oh, I made I made a spinach waffle. waffle. You know, a lot of people are you talking about chaffles. Well, I use my waffle machine to make a lot of things. I was making, I guess, the chaffles long before they were called chaffles and never knew it, where you put the egg with the cream cheese and or the other cheeses, whatever cheese you want to put in there, and you put it in the waffle iron and cook it and then eat it. Well, I was making them with the extra egg to use my egg. It was a way that I could use egg. Well, I made one with spinach today. The only diff normally... I would cook this in the frying pan, but I thought, you know, I'm going to try the waffle iron, and it works. I just put the heat a little higher, and the only difference in the flavor is it has a little bit spongier taste in the waffle iron than it does when it's done in the frying pan, but it was really good, and so I used a can of spinach, and I used, um, I put some cayenne pepper on it because I like things a little spicy, and then I used three eggs. Maybe next time I'll use four eggs. But you take the juice, excuse me, take the juice out of the can, out of the um, spinach, because I used canned spinach. I put it in a sieve type thing and pressed a spoon on it to try to get as much juice out as possible. And then that's what I had to eat. It was really good. So you, those of you that want to make chaffles, all you need is a waffle iron. And just maybe make it a little hotter. And it's, it's not as cute because the chaffle waffle iron is a smaller device and it makes it perfectly round, I'm sure, where mine was um, much bigger. But it still tastes just the same. You don't need to go out and spend money to buy those little things. You can do it with your regular waffle iron. And so that's, I guess, everything for today. I hope you had a great day, and I did. It's it's chilly. I took I put a long sleeve shirt on, but it is chilly. I went out, oh I went out and picked tomatoes. Those tomatoes I showed you the other day, I went out and picked a whole big huge bowl of them and I only took like a fraction of them. There's still so many more out there. And then my husband goes, if I hadn't put stuff in the rooster house, he could put the chickens over there and fence them in and they could go into the chicken the rooster house and roost and I said yeah but it's a lot harder with chickens than roosters I would have to put nesting boxes in there and and other things it wouldn't be that simple so I will just pull the plants up bring them to the chickens and let them have it that way so that's it for today I hope you had a great day I think I said that once already but anyways I hope you had a great day and I'll talk to y'all again tomorrow bye <laughs>